guys. So another musket ball. It's always fun finding these. Some history there. Anyway, cool. Still on the tight line. It's been pretty good so far. Alright, I'll show you the next ones. Guys, love it. Another musket ball. First one I dug right there, the second one I dug right here. Anyway, very cool. Look at that, guys. I am sure this is fake, but I am on the line right now. I am on the line. Yep. I'm going to show you if I find anything else. Just to give you a little heads up. Let's see where I'm at. Never know. I'm with you on it, brother. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Alright. It's a penny. Let's see what else I can do. Sounded good. there for a while. Huh? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Tell me that's not gold. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. God, I hope that's gold and not trash. Oh. Oh. Goodness, let's take a gander here. Gonna pass up the there it is. Please be gold, please be gold, please be gold. It's 
to him, Jerry. Oh. Alright, so I found this. That used to be a, a knife, pocket knife. See it? But it is just corroded on here. And it just fell apart as soon as I picked it up. Still a little fine. All right, I'll show you the next one. All right, guys, so this is uh, my latest hunt. Uh, here in New Jersey so I got all your typical stuff your weights uh, this one I've never seen a weight like this one before I'm sure uh, other people have but it's almost like a combination between just a regular triangle weight and a, like a spider weight but I've never seen one like that it's kind of interesting and I've fished a lot but I've never seen that one so typical weights um, I thought this was really cool. It's an old, uh, not old, old, I guess, but a uh, pocket uh, knife, you know, it's just a, but it's completely disintegrating because of the salt water. Uh, all I got was four pennies and one nickel. I did get three musket balls, which are always fun to find, you know. Kind of cool. Oh, a lot of history. Um, all your typical junk uh, did find some jewelry which was outstanding this I believe is uh, like an earring this sterling silver says it on the back uh, very sparkly uh, then I did find a gold chain with the uh, religious pendant on it and I believe that's uh, Mary, but yeah, very nice. 14 karat gold stamped on both of them. Very neat. Always, 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 always fun to find jewelry, no matter what. <laughs> uh, this is actually three out of four hunts where I found gold. So I've been on a good streak. Um, Pretty, pretty sure that won't continue. No way to hit gold that often. At least for me, it hasn't been in the past. But uh, yeah, it's been fun. Uh, can't wait to get out there again. Okay, now I wanted to do a shout out to somebody uh, who I've been watching on YouTube. Uh, Vermont Derek. If you haven't seen his channel, you should go over there. Watch him. Subscribe. He teaches what he knows throughout his entire metal detecting videos normally. He explains what he's seeing. He, he tells you uh, the different, what his, uh, he uses an Equinox 800, what his, what his grunts and beeps mean, uh, and kind of what, the, what they've meant to him and what he's learned from them, what they usually mean, what kind of targets they are normally. Uh, excellent at reading the beach. I've taken a lot of what he said and um, and applied it and I've been doing a lot better uh, so yeah you know uh, Derek super nice guy um, love watching his videos and he finds a lot of stuff like I said if you haven't if you haven't seen uh, his uh, his channel you need to go over there check it out I will uh, do my best to drop a link in the comments and um, yeah, well, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, give me the big thumbs up if you if you like it. Uh, subscribe if you want to. All right, till next time.